What's up beautiful Pigeon family, it's your boy Pigeon here and today we'll be discussing and looking at Christophe Galtier's recent interview he had ahead of the REM game. Let's go! First of all about the team's fitness. Presnel Kimpembe has started running again, he will resume work with the team in a few days, he's in rehabilitation. Nordi Mukiele is still undergoing treatment, he is working in the gym, we will see in the coming week if he can return to the group. Marco's available for the squad this weekend. He did all of the sessions this week. By this we can see that Kimpembe will be pretty much back into the squad in one week. Uh, whilst Nordi Mukiele, maybe two, maybe three weeks until he's fed by Marco Verratti. He's ready to play versus Stade de Reme will be in the squad. The schedule. We're trying to have the maximum number of players available to work well. We're managing the training sessions and the playing time. This weekend we start an important run with a few days of recovery. We don't want to make excuses about the schedule, but we have a competitive squad. The players have worked well in Riyadh and in the Coupe de France. We're in a good place and we have had very interesting sessions. So what Galtier is talking about here is, first of all, the importance of not just the starting eleven, but the squad with Paris Saint-Germain coming up against Bayern in only two weeks' time. PSG still have about five games up to that game, including the Coupe de France game to Marseille. And Galter knows that the squad, it will depend a lot of them. Not just a starting 11. Every player in the Paris Saint-Germain squad has to be performing and has to be ready for this period. And he doesn't want to use the schedule as an excuse, as maybe uh, Jorgen Klopp does sometimes when he's talking about this tight schedule. But Galter knows there's a tight schedule and he's prepared for it. On the opponent, we're taking into account their 13-game unbeaten run. So it's a good test for us. We start this run. They are a team that will have changed their system and their coach due to circumstances. They are an attacking team that puts pace and intensity into their play. It's a first challenge in this run of matches that awaits us. Rams are a team that don't concede many goals. It's not by chance. We're back in the league. We have to perform well and do things right to win. Yeah, again here, he's respecting the opponent. Stade de Rem. Unbeaten streak, 13 game under their new manager and new philosophy of play as well. He also talks about their tight defensive compactness and that it will be a challenge for Paris Saint-Germain to score not just one but many goals against this team and also that they play a bit attacking wise. Of course they play a 4-3-3 before they played a 5 at the back now they play a more 4-3-3 attacking orientated. So it's a different team we're coming up against. But this may be a good thing for Paris Saint-Germain because we have seen that we have struggled against these low block teams. And with this team not playing a low block, maybe it will only help Paris Saint-Germain. Hakimi. He had a great World Cup and a good first part of the season in different systems. He was decisive with us. I'm happy with him. I watch his performances with Morocco and I know he can do even better. He's coming off his World Cup. He's training normally and will have a top level Ashraf in the second half of the season. I mean here he's just giving compliments to Ashraf Hakimi, but he still says, I know he can do even better, showcasing that. Still, he sees more potential in Ashraf Hakimi's game, and he talks about how decisive he is that he can play in different kinds of system. Four at the back, five at the back, three at the back. He knows it. Next up, on the team's style of play. In recent games, we haven't been able to press our opponents high up the pitch, which is something that we want to do. And we're working on precisely that with the players. Next week, after the Coupe de France, we'll have a lot of sessions centered around winning the ball. We need to be better both when we win the ball and when we lose it, as well as being better when our opponents have the ball up the pitch. So this is exactly what he said last time. He's talking about the off-the-ball movement and that Paris Saint-Germain definitely need to improve winning the ball back from the opposition and how they're organized when the opposition has the ball. Next up, on the team's work. We have to work on our attacking style, which hasn't been as good recently, especially in the league. We have worked a lot on that and on winning the ball back. These are two areas we have worked on a lot in addition to the athletic aspect. He's talking about here that Paris Saint-Germain as he mentioned before, we need to get better when we don't have the ball and also when we have the ball because he ha we have seen that Paris Saint-Germain haven't been able to penetrate opponents like they did in the previous run before the World Cup came. We haven't really been able to score many goals, especially in Ligue 1. We got two versus Strasbourg, two versus Angers, one versus Arcelo and zero versus Rennes. And that uh, accumulates to around a goal per game, which is much less than the 3.3 which we had before the World Cup. And Galtier knows that we need to return to scoring a lot of goals, especially when you have 
the best attack in the world. On the tie versus Bayern. A lot on our a lot on our offensive animation that we have lost, or at least that has been less good lately for different reasons, and especially in the league, Galtier said during a press conference on Friday. We have worked a lot on that and the ability to be able to react to the loss of ball to avoid that opp opponent can't organize to get the ball out. So what's yeah again Galtier talking about, especially for the buying game, upcoming buying game, is that Paris Saint-Germain need to improve and he's training day by day on this mission to accomplish which is becoming better when we don't have the ball and which will lead to us conceding less winning the ball higher up scoring more just a better organized team that was it from christophe galtier's recent interview i enjoyed everything he speaks about i love that galtier never uses excuses he said it last week about missing players and this time about the tight schedule but he knows there is an issue. He knows there is something, but he doesn't want to use it as an excuse. He, he takes full accountability for the responsibility of this Paris Saint-Germain side. And he looks and talks about the weaknesses and is not insecure about talking about that. But that was it. Make sure to like this video for daily Paris Saint-Germain content. Subscribe to the PSG YouTube channel. And as always, bye.